Good morning, wow. It's certainly warmer than it was yesterday. Yeah, we got places to sit. So this this one I'll think a little bit further ahead. More layers. Get up and move. Why not? This is soft. Exactly. Yeah, it is the softest to uh, brush. Wow, it's like milky. It's like, <laughs> wow, it's uh, But it's very responsive yeah. to your hand. Yeah. That's why we like it. And you have to rotate the wow. sides to yeah, adjust the to that, the shape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. You cannot use uh, one side. Uh, uh, you have to rotate between your strokes. You know, we have the the square hair, the mop. Yeah, you know, square Kind of yeah. like this. Right. But not this much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the softest. Yeah. Forget the 116 degrees. So then, there's some cloudy ideas. I'm just looking for modulation of the cloud, cloudization. And then uh, same down here. So this one I'm thinking a little further ahead, and that's a good thing in watercolor. You you can do a lot of overlapping in oil and messing around, but in watercolor it's it's nicer to have more of a kind of a little plan of action going there. So I'm just taking that color, bringing it down here. And, and then I I do some Random stamping. I'm gonna try this one. Mm -hmm. Whoops. <laughs> it, you don't have no use that. Throw it away. Yeah. How's the knees when it's cold? Great. Yeah. My knees get kind of creaky. <sighs> Yeah, this is a uh, wolf, synthetic wolf, with good. a with a little natural hair. Well, this is a brand new brush, so I'm trying to get it. Just remember, you got an oil painting right there, just so you know. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm being very careful. I mean, as long as you know, because you'll I mean, get a nice, nice tip. Yeah, this is okay. a metal handle. It's very heavy handle. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a metal handle. Ooh, yeah, pretty. I wow. Yes. I've never seen such a beautiful it's brush. Enamel. It's a collectible brush. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I think I just want to put it up on my wall and look at it. <laughs> Hang on. Now we really have lots of yellow on the side there now. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take this right off the page. I'm not gonna worry about the edge here. And I've got kind of a blue green going there. Just remember, when you're working wet into wet, you can just mix right on the page. Oh, that's a sprayer. Good. Yeah, that's a nice sprayer. Mm -hmm. Dick, Dick looks special there. Mm -hmm. See, no, so if I want some of those a little bit redder, I can just do that. But I think what I'm going to do first is just go for some of that crazy green. Uh, just take this back. Recycling. On the hill there. And I just want to see that green. I'd rather start it off more saturated. I can easily dull it. But why? <laughs> That's so dull. And I can take that right down into my water. Excuse me. 
this one I'm thinking a little bit more in layers here. I'm using Prussian blue, um, cad red, which would give me a very gray, like a lot of those trees, more of a gray green. And I like that. I, I like some greens that aren't so pure. And I'll pull those right up and over. Some of that uh, yellow I just put down. We have some stuff in the background. Look at this, just using the side of the brush. This is, I can tell you right now, I don't even have to work for it on this brush. <laughs> you don't even, wow, the brush, this is when the brush does make a big difference. It really does. I'm not even, I'm not painting this painting. But do you love it more than the um, shaving brush? The what? The one that looks like a shaving brush. Uh, they're a lot. They're I, I like them both. I like them both. You see how this blue comes out in the background? I mm -hmm. really like that. Yeah, it gives the it kind of gives a little distance. Mm -hmm. That's one of those things where you know you make it up on the fly, and I'll take a little bit of that, a little ultramarine into that color I just mixed up and throw a little bit of that in the background a little bit see how flexible that brush is yeah <laughs> it gives wow. the no bristle <laughs> great for like if you want to do tree tops watch this because look at this irregular watch this just yeah you can have split brush any brush shape is doing the work yeah. you're just guiding mm -hmm. just guiding the brush It's like a cotton ball. <laughs> it is great. Great for, sometimes when, when you have a really stiff point, it's hard to get a really random looking edge. Right. If you want the soft, use the soft brush. Yeah. If you want the hard edge, use the stiff brush. Makes sense to me. So now let's see how I'm throwing that in front of it. See how I instantly get distance? So I put the dark in front of those light ones in the background and it feels like more distance. And I've been down here when it's so misty you can't even see some of those background trees, so it could happen. I swear. Okay. And uh, right. I'm, I have some fuzzy nuts in here, but I don't want to kill all that beautiful yellow. Yellow. And then I'm gonna take that right down into here. Actually, as I put these strokes down there, I'm going to put them on a little more horizontally. See how everything is getting ripped. A little more. And then toward the top, more of that color. Rippling. This stuff in the background is so far away, it probably wouldn't be reflecting into the water. But hey. So now, if I want little softer edges, I have to uh, need a rooster tail brush. Oh yeah, that 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 rooster rooster Ooh. rooster yeah. tail brush. There's the big shaving cream one. Yeah. Um, I can just wet that edge. That's set up pretty quick, even though it's cool out. Wow. Mm -hmm. You try it. You really try it. Yeah. yeah. how stiff that got so if I come back I, I could have laid down water first
or just done it like that. So you could lay down water first and then paint into it, or you can lay it on dry and get that effect. Both, both are achieving what I want, and that's that sort of loose look right, right there. <clears throat> Wet into wet look. And then as I put those down, here those. These are getting a little too hard edge for me. I'll just a little bit of water. There we go. Naturalizes the edge. Mm -hmm. Do those uh, those redder trees over in this area? Ooh, great tree brush! Wow. Mm -hmm. Just rolling the, just rolling it to get a. That's nice. Yeah, just 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 roll it. To get that really nice point. You see, a lot of my branches don't have; they're they're just like dotted lines. The eye will follow them. Yeah. So you we, don't need to put in everything. We call that the idea complete with absence of stroke. Wow. <laughs> the idea complete with absence of stroke. That makes sense. Yeah. Your mind fills in the gaps. Yeah. My, my first class, my teacher told me to uh, do that. Um, wow. When we draw a long blade of uh, orchid, you know, making bricks in, wow. uh, in the line. Yeah. That's great you have those memories. Yeah, that was uh, 45 years ago. 45 years ago, wow. <laughs> now I'm going to come back with a green. It's a little bit blue. In fact, you could just glaze a blue right on top of this for some of these shadows coming down the hill. So on the other ones, right, I painted the light. This one I'm painting the shadows. And why not? I'll just, I'll just go pure ultramarine blue on this are very close. And that. It looks a little weird, right? A little stripey. So then take a little water. And I can't wait too long. I've got about a few seconds. And I can just Soften that edge with water. Soften the edge. And that's shadow. Yeah. And, you know, this will break up the stripes, just, just having a few... A few of those little guys on there. Dirt on the ground there. It's just a gray red, so red, yellow, and blue will do it. Almost any red, yellow, and blue would do it. Or I have an orange here, I'll add a little blue to it. Because it's red, yellow, and blue. Orange is red and yellow. Everything's red, yellow, and blue. I'm just gonna... Oftentimes on the bank of things, you'll get little splashes and some activity. You'll get like leaves and things, push it up 
you might see a dark line or a light reflection or both. So when you have something like this, you might want to just, you could use the back of your brush or something like this and just, just kind of notice, you use your fingernail. Where's your knife, the cutter? Yeah. <laughs> the paper cutter? Anything, or just yeah. maybe just a mark. Yeah, it's already coming in that darker, yeah. Yeah. Just a few little dark things. Yeah. And sometimes a little light splash can help. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little ripples here and there. Again, I have the dry paper, so I'm going to get those dry effects there if I want. I could put them on like that and then just wet them. Or the other thing I can do is just wet the whole thing. Wet the whole thing. softer edge, a little bit stiffer edge here. And then a little softer edge in there. during your painting. Mm -hmm. and take a few. Now, I'm thinking I want this to be a little bit wetter. When I put that down, there's still dry areas, so it, it'll get lost and then it'll it'll get dry. So yeah, so some more places it gets lost, and some places it's really you can see the edge really mm -hmm. definite. So. Again, I can just take that and water. With water. Ooh, Mr. B. Hi. You say, I, I see color, man, but I don't taste anything. What's up? I wonder why their their little butt goes. Because he's breathing, huh? There he goes. He's like, see you later. I just need to take a breather. <laughs> just keep it outside the water. I always got curly. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Wasn't it? I know that you said that the yeah. you're not supposed to leave them in there. It's a feathers. Feather brush. Yeah. Rooster feather. No joke. I would not joke about this. For details. For ra Believe just or not. random, <laughs> random stuff. But suggest lots of detail. Right. We saw the effort effortlessly. Effortless, effortlessly, a million twigs and two strokes. Right. <laughs> That's all. Try brush. With a yeah, I got a couple branches out of it. Mm. Feather brush suggests so lots of I detail, love it. texture. Mm. Oh boy! You know when you think you're done with the painting and then it just it keeps saying, "Paint me, paint me." 
I'm going to throw a couple more little shadows in there. Well, I think I want it redder. Come on. A little redder. I think that's casting a shadow over here. Maybe. Maybe even something around there. And again, these hard edges. I can just, I can spread them apart like that and get sort of a random. So it's not such a, a harsh light. It's been going in and out, so. That's it. shadows in there. Yeah, it never ends. It never ends. You know? It never ends. These shadows, I forgot to put in. <laughs> no, it never ends. <coughs> hey, that's why you stand back far away. I didn't even know I didn't put those in there. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, 